It is September the 13th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Port of Brunswick today. Well, we made a couple trips out to the port today. First one this morning, and this is what we saw. A couple barges working alongside uh, the, that larger barge, the Julie B. And right away we could tell that they had been dismantling uh, the cradle system that was on the Julie B when sections one and two were transported over to Gibson, Louisiana. Uh, we could see that those were down. And uh, as we started to take a closer look, we could see that they were now placed on uh, some of the uh, workspaces of, of those deck barges. And we were kind of kind of perplexed at first to see, uh, you know, what's going on because we we, we understand that the uh, dry dock was going to take Section 5. That's the section that's currently hanging from the VB-10,000 out in the St. Simon Sound. Section 5 of the Golden Ray. And uh, we're just really uh, are a bit perplexed. You know, why would this work be going on here at the Julie B and not on the dry dock? So we uh, we just got a little video and kept that in our mind, but you know we we had to make a return trip again. This was we made two trips out there today, so this is what we're going to what we're going to say as we look at the dry dock. You know, sometimes things happen uh, for a reason and in a succession that makes comp a lot of sense once you see the whole picture. But this was the dry dock section this morning. And we see uh, the Caitlin uh, tug uh, alongside of it. And we can see that little bit of cradle system that was um, over on the, on the side of the dry dock that's closest to the pier there. And um, that, that has been in place since then. And now here we are on our trip back this afternoon. And what do we see? Both those work barges that were alongside the Julie B were now along the dry dock section and they were unloading those portions of the cradle that they had taken off the Julie B onto the dry dock. So these operations to uh, modify the cradle system to receive that section Five that's hanging from the, now it becomes clear they're taking the pieces off the Julie B that were put in put built and, and put there and they're modifying those existing pieces of the cradle to go on board the dry dock and receive section five now it once you see how the how the operation unfolded today we, we certainly got a better idea of 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 the operation and how how this thing's going to progress. And one thing we did do today was um, we went down and we looked at the other sections a little closer to look at the damage uh, along that side. Uh, these are sections that are already on the dry dock that have already been brought into the Port of Brunswick to get a closer look at those. And we're gonna we're gonna show you that so that. You could understand what kind of damage we're, they're probably looking at on uh, Section 5 and uh, probably on Section 4, and that's the section that's still in the water in the sound. Um, but we, got a little, we took a little closer look of, of, at the areas that were damaged, and uh, maybe that'll be a little better understanding for everyone of, of what kind of task they're up against now. But here we saw the Caitlin moving one of the one of the work barges uh, back, kind of out of the site, and it looked to us it had uh, three of the fracking tanks, uh, those that pump pumping system for separating the the water from oil on board it, as well as some of the other um, maybe materials we've seen uh, during some VB ten thousand maintenance days. Um, we could see some of that equipment on this barge as it was being moved. I just, just wanted to include, include this in part of the operation. And now we, we got a better look at the Julie B 
and this is after they had removed the cradle system that was on it. And then we also noticed that there still is a, a piece of the cradle system uh, that is kind of laying, they, they've, they've taken it off. It's no longer attached to the Julie B and kind of laying on its side right there across the deck. And that that was a, a part of the cradle system there for the for uh, one of the earlier sections and when it was transported uh, back over to the Gulf of Mexico. But here just kind of looking back at the site this afternoon, a lot of activity now going on on that dry dock as they work to uh, get that cradle system in place and ready uh, to receive uh, section five. Now here we go. And these are, are the sections now that are currently in the Port of Brunswick on the dry dock. And we want to pay real close attention to this left-hand corner of the ship and uh, just what it, what it really looks like and, and how this, this piece is kind of damaged. And you can see in here how it's, how it's distorted a bit. Uh, and right across these lower pieces in here, these uh, four pieces that are that are off there, those are part of the venting system on the ship that would help keep uh, air moving inside of it. But right in that area, you can really see some damage in there, and a little bit how that that side has started to uh, to kind of uh, fold over a little bit. We're really starting to pay attention to this because we think. We, we certainly see this uh, uh, more pronounced on Section 5 as it hangs from the VB right now. And then uh, the speculation is now that Section 4 has a similar damage, uh, maybe even uh, more extensive than what we're seeing on, on Section 5. And even on this uh, other section in that same area, and now you got to keep in mind that this this corner, if you will, of the ship is is the side that is 
down the farthest and has taken most of the weight of the ship as it was on the sandbar in the sound. You, and you can see where it's it suffered some damage as well. well. It looks like they have gotten most of the of the cars uh, out of this section. They've got them piled up here. Uh, they will probably uh, be putting them on the hopper barge, which is right alongside the um, this section of the dry dock. We expect that to probably happens. They they clean up some of this this debris. Uh, <laughs> which mainly consists of vehicles and vehicle parts now. But uh, we just kind of flew in here just to give you guys an idea what this sec what this section looks like with most of the cars out of it and now on the deck of the dry dock. They've got quite a few vehicles now that they have pulled out of the section and have them placed here ready to go, go on one of those barges. Still a few vehicles left in there, but looks like the majority of them, uh, they've been able to get out, at least the ones that they can reach safely. Um, we may actually see some more come out once they get a little room to do some more work, but it looks like they've gotten a good, a good fair amount of them out. We've got a few stills here of this area. Uh, we're gonna let these kind of run so you guys can can kind of look through and and see just uh, just what these vehicles kind of look like as they're sitting up here. And hey, Menorca Navy, uh, we always appreciate the time that you guys spend uh, looking over the videos and commenting on them. We're going to ask that if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button for us. Click on the thumbs up. Continue with the comments. And most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.